You're wearing a shirt that says Cali. Yep, I'm a big fan. <laughs> In today's video, we're teaming up with Nick Uhas, the king of elephant toothpaste, to do some fun experiments. Guys, before we start today's video, we have an amazing guest in the studio with us today, Janae, the queen of random. Hey, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Janae Thompson. I was married to Grant, and I have been here with the king of random since its inception and before. I'm here also because I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and the depths of my soul for the love, the support, and the prayers that I have felt from our community here at the King of Random. The other reason I'm here is because I want to highlight this book that Grant was working on, 52 Random Weekend Projects. One of the most important things Grant wanted to share with us is he said, I want to have a hundred videos that my children can watch in case I'm not here. I had no idea how prophetic that statement would become and it's never left my mind the words that he said, I want to have a hundred projects that my boys can do just in case I'm not here. These are the types of projects that create that bond and that love and the experiences that a parent can share with a child or anybody that wants to create that bond that allows us to connect. So I hope that you'll be able to take this book and create those amazing experiences because in the last part of Grant's life, what he really wanted to do is spend time with his family and be with us and share his passion and share his desire and share these experiences with us. And we were so lucky to be able to spend those last few months of his life doing the things that he loved. And this book is a culmination of that. And I'm so grateful to be able to share it from my heart and our family to yours. Starting today, as an extra incentive to pre-order the book, those who pre-order can get a signed numbered copy. And the sooner you order, the lower your number will be. So if you're the first one to order, you can get book number one. Unfortunately, for legal reasons, the signed copies are only available in the USA and Canada. But no matter where you are in the world, if you send a copy of your receipt to 52randomprojects at gmail.com, you'll be entered into a drawing to win a free t-shirt. So to pre-order 52 Random Weekend Projects now, head down to the description below and click the link. We're gonna try the elephant toothpaste experiment a couple times in these Erlenmeyer flasks just to get a good feel with it. So I've done this reaction hundreds of times. Here's the basic idea. We're gonna try some classic elephant toothpaste experiments and then see if it's possible to make an elephant toothpaste cannon. We've never tried it, so we're not sure if it's gonna work. We're going to amp up to this bad boy, of which, Nate, explain how does this work? What what's even? the logic behind this? All right, here's the thing. We've all heard this idea in theory <laughs> on this trip. This right here is the barrel. This is a valve on the barrel, so you can stop it or open it. Okay. So that's right here, ball valve. And then all this back here is a chamber. So the thought is that we can leave it closed so nothing can flow out. We can put one liquid down in there and it won't go anywhere because the be valve is closed. That'll be the hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Hydrogen peroxide goes in there. Then we can take a small balloon, like a water balloon, of full the, of, of the, the catalyst, other chemical. Yes, which is the, the catalyst, catalyst, potassium iodide. The potassium iodide solution will be in the balloon, which hopefully will be just the right size to fit into our chamber. Then the cap, which has a very pointy screw attached to it, put that on, and once that's screwed on enough that pressure is not going to escape, we can tip it back so the balloon pops. <laughs> pressure will build up inside <laughs> this to the point where it wants to escape, but not but to the point rupture. where it will break PVC. We so, may do a test where we're all kind of far away from it yeah. to, just to make sure that it doesn't break out. If it doesn't, then the idea is that we can open it and we'll get all the pressurized elephant toothpaste foam shooting out. Or maybe the pressure will prevent it from turning into a foam in the first place because it needs to make bubbles. Or what are the other options? There's several. That's what I was thinking too. So like here, here was the rundown for what I thought were the possible options, right? So this has never been done before. So what I was thinking could happen is once they actually mix inside this container and it builds pressure, one of two things is going to happen. It's going to, it's going to hold the pressure, it's going to keep all the foam in there nice for us to let it go, or it's going to explode the PVC, which is definitely an option. Um, or potentially another chance is like what you said is like it could actually, the pressure could be holding the bubbles from forming. And then and they so, just... Yeah, and when we open it, it just wah, goes wah, like wah. this. It's just the saddest thing ever. <laughs> Either way though. It's gonna be awesome. This is potassium iodide. Cool. So this is the catalyst that we're using. Nice. And if you feel it, 
can you actually, it's a little cool. Okay. It's, it's an gonna... endo endothermic reaction. Okay. So as the salt dissolves, it actually it gets cooler in the liquid that it dissolves into. This is almost at what, what's uh, called at molar, meaning like it is to the maximum dissolved Saturation content. Saturation point. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to keep going. It's going to oxidize slowly and it's going to turn yellow. Perfect. But um, that's totally okay. It still works when it's oxidized. So. Now this is going to work faster than potassium permanganate. Is that right? Correct. All right. And that is what we have used in the past on our channel. You've seen potassium permanganate and hydrogen peroxide permanganate. Potassium permanganate. <laughs> and we have actually had the time before to put that into a balloon, have that expand. We've even used that reaction in a shower, in a bathtub. It's not a huge deal. You guys have seen us do that on the channel. This is much faster than what we've done. All right, so the second step is adding roughly 1,500 milliliters of 35% hydrogen peroxide. Now, hydrogen peroxide is not super uh, dangerous. It's about as dangerous as bleach, but it can leave a very, like you just don't want to get it on your skin, basically. It dries it out very, very quickly and it leaves these little white marks. Um, yep. So it can chemical burn your skin if you leave it on too long. So this is the part that I try to like do very carefully. I always do this with gloves and eye protection. And it looks so sweet and innocent, but if you get just even a little bit on your skin. So what's interesting about this reaction is, is that actually like, if you put too much hydrogen peroxide in there, it actually doesn't go as high. It doesn't react as well. So we're gonna kind of show this. So like, I'm gonna go a little, I'm gonna split the difference on this one and try to get it like around exactly a thousand milliliters. The one on my far left will be closer to 1200. And then in the center here, we'll do closer to 1500. So the next step is you add two teaspoons of palm olive soap. And then Kelly, there's some food coloring dye. Okay. All right, now choose your color. So you can actually add up to 10 drops. Okay. I would recommend like try not to get any spillback just because this is still a live chem, chem set right now. Yeah. And so actually, can you pick, uh, what are you, you're going blue, red, I go, I'll go green. 10 drops about. You can, yeah, roughly speaking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You can go 20. I mean, if you want, really. All right, so this is potassium iodide. This is the go juice. This is the catalyst. Go juice, but I'm not allowed to drink it, he said. The very last step is actually, we want to keep these out. Now we're just going to shake these up a bit, so try not to get it on your skin. Just going to like really mix the soap in there. All right, so the idea is we're going to get all of this in there as fast as we possibly can. Okay. One, two, three, pour. Pour it all in, back up. Woo! <laughs> Glorious. I feel a little silly for wearing the raincoat now, but I'm still happy I did. <laughs> it actually all like blew onto this side of the table, Glorious. which is where we are. It's still going. It's, it's, it's still going. very happy. Very stoked. We had the soap down in the hydrogen peroxide. When we poured the catalyst in there, it stripped one of the oxygens off of the hydrogen peroxide. That created oxygen gas. That got caught up in the soap and that created a bunch of foam very fast. It built pressure And it's like quite this. warm now. Yeah, and it's very warm. It's an exothermic reaction, so it's like very hot. So now knowing that and seeing that, what do you think about the cannon? I think it's gonna hold the pressure just fine. I think we're gonna be all right. Okay. Let's go bigger. I like it. I have a water balloon in this, and I'm just gonna tip it and see if it pops against the screw. That's all. Here goes. That sounds good. Hey, it worked. Great, so if it's not full of air, it pops. That's what we need to see. All right, so you have a water balloon of potassium iodide. So now it's time for the hydrogen peroxide? I think so, yeah. I think we're ready. Okay. All right, that's our one liter of fuel, essentially, for this. I'm gonna stir that up and I'm gonna pour that in there. All right, I'm gonna turn this upside down and book it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. You were right! It I can't was hold right! It. I, I was right! right. It can't the, hold it! That is the foam fountain of a of grenade! You just made the elephant, the first elephant toothpaste grenade! Okay. <laughs> wow!
Okay, so we now know how effective the elephant toothpaste experiment really is. I was wondering if it would rupture. I would think it would be within 30 seconds or so. That was within a couple. My ears are still ringing. Yep. I mean, that was so loud. Actually, it hit, like I could really? feel it in my chest. I could feel chest. it in my chest. Yep. Huh. Well, plan B. Uh, plan B. <laughs> we still have a ton of hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> All right. In a bunch of soap and some containers that we can still do the elephant toothpaste experiment in. So get the, let's get one of the five gallon yeah. water bottles. Yeah. Let's get a container that's still in one piece. And just put as much as we can. We'll just amp it up. Yeah. Yes. All right. We can see even, how high yeah. this launches. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. So for this technique, I'm going to be shotgunning the potassium iodide or catalyst into the hydrogen peroxide. So I'm going to take the cap off, turn it upside down, and then just smash it in there. Okay. And it actually makes it react quicker than normal. So I'm going to try to run away without getting splattered with foam. Okay. Good luck. Let's try yeah. it. All right. Let's we'll, do it. Uh, we'll let you do that and be already out of the way. Okay. <laughs> let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Wow. That was actually very calm and very controlled. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, it worked great. It worked awesome. I shot like 30 feet in the air and gave us this beautiful foam, which is just hissing nicely now. Yeah. Three, two, one. Right onto our truck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> Oh man, it's activated though, so it shouldn't be bleaching stuff anymore, right? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you serious? Wow. Guys, that's it for today, but you know, we've always got more to see. Hit the box at the top to check out our most recent video, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.